Hi, this is Patricia McEnany and Sarah Rowe from the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, members of the Proyecto Arqueológico Colaborativo del Oriente de Yucatán, a collaborative archaeology project that works with the townspeople of Tacabo to study the impact of 17th century uh, colonialism and missionization on Yucatec Mayan people. Along with Dr. Ivan Batun of the State Archives of Yucatan, we are mapping and surveying the colonial site of Takabo while also engaging in dialogue with the community about local heritage and conservation. Our project is focused on the town's central plaza, which includes a pre-Hispanic pyramidal shrine and an adjacent 17th century church. The church sanctuary has experienced several periods of remodeling and reuse, including the enclosure of windows and opening of new niches, and was likely used for defensive purposes during the 19th century caste war. Currently, this stone sanctuary, with its beautiful intact arch, is threatened by stone robbing, aggressive vegetation, use of an adjacent bullfighting ring, and a lack of funds to conserve the sanctuary and disseminate information about this historically significant site. With the AIA Site Preservation Grant, we will initiate new collaborative activities with the community. Members of the archaeology team will meet with the local heritage committee to coordinate research and action plans. We plan to host heritage nights in order to provide a forum for discussion of heritage issues with the entire community. A continuation of workshops held in the primary school will use games and artistic expression to engage students in the study and protection of local heritage. This summer, we will work with secondary students to develop and perform a puppet show that highlights heritage themes. We will also create a heritage room in the town hall, where we will collaboratively design and install durable display panels featuring the history of the town from pre-colonial to recent times. These events not only inform local people about archaeological resources present in their community, but also build their capacity to understand archaeology as a discipline and to be effective stewards of the site. We send our heartfelt thanks to the AIA for providing us with the resources to continue this work. Mil gracias.